Howdy caddies. How you going? Hope you're okay. I don't really care. But you know, they pay me to at least ask. <laughs> Weekly walk about the collector. We've got heaps of cool stuff in the sale this week. Beautiful jewellery. Lovely little um, palladium ring set with a beautiful um, blue sapphire. Over the back behind it as well as a gold ring with a big sort of purple sapphire in it. And behind that's a lovely Doxa 18 karat white gold watch set with all um, little diamonds around the face. Lovely thing. More gold bar brooches and rings with diamonds in them and rings with rubies and stuff like that. The little jester half doll head over the back's cool. Chinese silver filigree locket's beautiful little bit. And a nice little fob watch there. There's a lovely loose opal in that little white box. Some men's early men's... Um, Omega electronic watch, or quartz movement, nice little silver lockets, it's one of my favourite little bits here, a little silver uh, made in Melbourne War Widow's Guild brooch, the kookaburra there, designed by Andor Mazaros, good stuff, I like him, he does some lovely things in sort of bronze and silver, I think his son might be Michael Mazaros, something like that, you'll see works by him around as well, nice bit. A little silver um, sovereign case, enameled silver Marcosite fish brooch. There's a nice little pair of diamond screw on earrings. Brighton Footy Club, I think 1963, mm -hmm. I reckon, is the little sort of membership booklet. More Marcosite and gold, more Marcosite, pearl stuff, more Marcosite. Nice little cameos and carved bones sort of bits there. More Marcosite, more little silver lockets. A little butterfly wing brooch in amongst there, there you go, with a little pair of green sort of jadeite earrings. Italian sort of little aminals. Nice bakelite buckle there, sort of coloured and shaped like coral, but bakelite. Some nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. I like this little cedar, a uh, little bedside table. How's this bloody throne thing? The order, ancient order of foresters. AOF across the top there, the thing is massive. There you go. Some little bentwood chairs and stuff to sort of scale up the throne a little bit. The bentwood chairs aren't small ones, they're normal sized ones. What else? This is a group of other stuff from the Ancient Order of Foresters. The little honour roll there from Wangaratta. So they're the members who died in the First or Second World War. And that big sort of framed up certificate there goes with it couple of pairs of sort of battle axes as well which are only made out of wood so it's okay nice little sort of hall table lovely little sewing box underneath there Victorian all hand painted really quite pretty and this is nice the heavy Colebrookdale style sort of hall stand it's got this cool little character down the bottom of some guy a little marble shelf all the sort of coat hooks and everything and a label on it there from the Graham Joel collection huh? We've got a few bits from the estate of Graham Joel in this week's auction. It's nice to have it. So we've got some, he had some lovely things, he had good taste. He was alright, old Grey. Some costume jewellery, little Eastern miniature, these little Peter's ice cream sticks. This is a nice little lot, little deco half dolls and an old enamelled um, nouveau buckle. Heaps more pearls and other sort of deco jewellery and boxes and big kilt pins. Nurse's belt. Heaps more nice jewellery in there, and I like all this little collection of hotel china. Some cutlery as well. And this is a really nice little Sheridan style sort of toilet mirror. Beautiful little sort of drawers. Little skinny little sort of sides and stuff, really well made. Once again from Graham Joel's estate. Old racer bike. Stereo gear. Boxes of stuff. What else? More boxes of stuff. And that's a box of things. There's a couple of dolls. Big box of crystal. Some mid-century sort of stuff. Two big boxes of costume jewellery. Some more honour rolls here from the AOF. I think um, First and Second World War. Collection. I kind of like the little fire screen. Sort of mid-century sort of tapestry insert. Little briefcase stereo is pretty cool with a little 8mm projector. It's a nice Olivetti portable typewriter. Big box of old Bakelite phones. Sort of all, what's all that stuff? Sort of CB radio and audio sort of gear. 
kids' books and DVDs and games, Victorian stuff and a couple of clocks, redhead matchbox labels with a big shoebox full of pennies, Oz pottery, a couple of colourful pictures. What else have we got? Stereo gear with records, CDs, other stuff. Cheech and Chong's wedding album. This is a great lot, all this Polaroid gear. As new sort of cameras in amongst. Camera bag there with all the gear in it. There's heaps of spare packets of film, all unopened, unused. Really nice lot. Tools. What else have we got? Another big ancient order of foresters, past district chief rangers. It's a pretty amazing bit again, starting from 1901 or, yep, yeah, all the way sort of through. Beautiful carving across the top and down the sides. Nice little industrial sort of filing drawers. And there you go, the big whomping past chief rangers. There you go. Sort of little wire racks, another industrial shelving unit. A little beach umbrella's cool with a little retro stool with a moulded plywood seat. Two more big honour rolls here. First World War, Court Dandenong, all hand-painted sort of decoration. And there's a second World War, World War one, Court Pride of Northcote. Heaps of kids' books. Group lots of sort of mixed stuff. More AOF gear, banners, signs, little footstool, tools. Part of an aeroplane looks like it's crash landed. Sort of blokey gear, looks like a little Honda. I think it's a little Honda uh, posty bike frame. What else have we got? Some kitchen tins and stuff, cakes and rice and biscuits, books, all sort of groups of toys and stuff. Blokey gear, good quality Celestian speakers with a little HMV portable record player. Pretty cool big flame mahogany veneer, Victorian sideboard. Amazing bit with the original backboard in it down underneath there. It's in great condition, once again from the estate of uh, Graham Joel. Home Beautiful magazines and other sort of stuff, mid-century design. Pretty cool front cover there with a the John Coburn painting. Skateboards and stuff, but it's only a downhill one so you don't have to worry too much. <laughs> Scooters, bikes. Sort of as new fans and heat lamps and stuff. This is the big mother load of sort of Fowler's Aggie um, jars and other glassware. There's a big Vicola kit down underneath as well. But there's about 10 boxes full of all these big old jars and some glasses and stuff. Nice big lot. What else? Big groups of china and ceramics, English stuff, some old engravings. More glassware, a couple of box little brand new sort of little retro fans, great box of Thomas the Tank Engine books, a couple bikes, a little electric one there, another the Schwinn ladies one. This is a nice big group of English china, all good quality. More blokey gear, little record player, and a little mixed group lot. Order of Forrester Court Q, these all sort of fold out, and they go all the way back to about 18, 60 or something like that, if I can get the bloody things out. Oh, you know what your fingers on these as well. There you go, 1862. Starts off at. That all sort of folds back up. Pretty cool in the cabinet. What else? A little Victorian sort of velour and brocade salon suite. Little two seat around the corner, a couple of chairs. And a couple of little Victorian balloon backs to go with them. Mid-century lamps, pretty cool. Some nice paintings this week and prints. Ivor Janssen's. Little Neville William Cayley. I think it's some kind of plover bird, I think. Did a bit of digging around, couldn't have find exactly what it was. I figured out that this one was a duck. There you go. It's a great little Frank Carter oil painting there, making hay. Guessing the sun's shining. Hal War watercolour from 1912, the old milking shed, really nice thing. This is Diane Hinchcliffe oil. I think she was a National Gallery School student, can't find much information, but quite nice. Lovely old frame Maxfield Parish print, all original. Nice. Lovely old hanging frame, circa 1900. 
1930s kitchen gear, a couple of bits of pottery, nice little pair of carved soapstone vases with some other stuff, carved wooden items, and a nice big collection of Deca, uh, Dalton roses china. It's nice, the Japanese charger, lovely big oil lamp, majolica and some damaged Dalton china down the bottom there. I think we've got some nice little bits of furniture here, a little auto trolley, a little cabinet, and the little sort of drawer unit there made out of Singer sewing machine stuff. It's a really nice coffee table with a leather inset top with a lovely little piano stool as well from Graham Joel's estate. The flame mahogany veneer little pot cupboard as well has been converted with a single drawer. Another huge big sort of um, honour board there as well, past Chief Rangers respect board. Huge big thing. What else have we got? Some Japanese china and lacquerware, nice little group. Um, royalty china, a couple of little microscopes and some beakers, Australian tins, Phoenix biscuits, Swallow and Ariel. Who's the big pottery, Peter Reese? Yes. There you go, the big pottery vase over the back's really quite nice. Stereo gear, some retro mid-century, you've got the Ellis ashtray, it's not marked, can't be much else, Japanese, West German, etc. A couple of nice old Chinese ginger jars all with a lovely celadon glaze. Blokey gear, cameras, nice little clock in amongst there, little shaving shelf, seashells, some really nice stuff in there. Some travel bags, some Japanese items, a little lot sort of all military related. Griffith's tea tins a ripper, a couple of nice clocks. This is a great little bit, little Sanyo AM FM cassette recorder. Some Oz pottery. Little AWA, I think it's a radiola, little portable radio. Lovely old hanging beaten brass planter. Oz pottery. Japanese geisha. A couple of pairs of horns. Could be worse. Coloured glass. English china. Dalton. Deco. Oz pottery. Some nice glass here, a bit of Fenton in amongst. More English stuff. The Lee Jeans girl's pretty cool up the top. Big TG Green grip stand bowl. Blokey gear, records, perfumes and lipstick holders and stuff. There's some nice gear in there. A couple of nice little bits there. Kitchen alia. Hoffman uh, Cornish wear. Pair of brass fighting cocks. Yes, you can all have a laugh. Fans, radios. <laughs> uh, China. China. Deco. Craven A. Nice uh, straw and another bottle of uh, pourers, tins, English china, Lego Duplo, more English. What else have we got? Cribbage board with some other stuff, Clip Tico accessory kit, little Hornby bridge over the back's cool. Love a little Victorian riding box. These are interesting little bits here from the E and A line, SS Tanda, little Japanese cigarette case there, and the lovely little sort of Ornamental bell as well. Australian tins, Japanese charger, Australian art glass. Signed, a bit illegible. Nice little bits, French and other porcelain. Some nursery records over the back in the trio. Lovely little clock. Little African bronze over the back's quite nice with her little distended belly. Two other little bits, little clock and the nice little, we think it's a string dispenser. Little Art Nouveau tin there, there's a hole in the knob on the top. For a bit of string to come through. Barley twist candles. Little English ceramic pussycat who's winking at ya. Couple of nice bone carved fans. Nice little sort of 1930s style clock. What else we got? More nice clocks. A couple of bits of Royal Copenhagen or Bing and Grundle or whoever it is. Nice big lot there. The Japanese uh, gingham kitchen sort of set. A little Hague's whiskey jug's a bit different. Beautiful August Moreau spelter figural lamp base. She is absolutely lovely. Victorian vase, a couple of nice jars, sweet acres and Nestle's. He's nice as well, the carved lamp over the back. Big bit of art glass, big Japanese charger. Nice little bottle pourers, aspic molds, a couple of bits of uranium glass, uranium glass jug. Really nice little ladies traveling beauty case. Centenary tea tin by Griffiths Brothers. Sabino glass, more uranium glass, signed art glass, Australian funny looking thing. 
Uh, fluorite glass with another. Dal Dalton, a couple of nice bits of English art pottery. A couple of nice bits of Dalton there, series wear designed by Noak. World War One cup and saucer, falconware Argus vase. More uranium glass, carnival glass. This is my favourite little bit in the sale. Little painted poker work vase there with the silhouette trees. I like that stuff. Some bloody nice stuff on the top shelf. Allen's Irish Musk Gum Jubes tin. Lovely little carriage clock. Lalique figure. Beautiful little arts and crafts match striker. Moorcroft two pieces. Royal Worcester ewer over the back. Japonesque, I think, is the pattern. There's a tiny hairline in the base which sucks a bit, but can't do much. Lovely hand-painted French 1930s Art Deco trinket boxes. Pretty amazing. Original labels on the bases. What else have we got? More Moorcroft. This is James Plant, English art pottery ewer. It's got a bit of damage on the handle. All hand-painted, nice bit. Big Ellis Oz Pottery Charger. Derek Smith, Rouge Royale, and this is a really sweet little bit, Crown Devon or something, Crown Devon, but all hand painted, Art Deco, little invalid feeder. There's more stuff, you can't show you everything. Anyway, hopefully we see you on Thursday night, it's going to be another good sale. See you around like a wristle. Ah.